Hi, my name is Molly Gold and I'm the president and founder of Gumma Mink. And today I want to talk with you about how to organize business cards. Just recently, I was at the Blog Her conference out in San Diego. And like many of you, I came home with a stack of business cards. One of the trickiest things to do when you're on site at a conference is to manage all those business cards. And it really doesn't matter what industry you're in. You are meeting people, you are networking, you're exchanging cards, either just for personal or professional. And the key is, how are you gonna make sure, A, that you don't lose the card, and B, that you remember why in the world it was important to you, because that's a big kicker. So I wanna just give you a couple of quick suggestions. First, when you're on site, I suggest making sure to take a business card carrier. As you go through the week, when people give you cards, you can slip them in. Now you'll notice that I have put a flag on each page here, maybe every couple of pages, that's to help you identify it by day. So the second thing is, once you take those business cards, you, I've met you, we're talking, maybe I put a little note on there, I slip it in my business card holder, this big folio, and I'll put it in by day. And that is a great tip from a friend of mine, helping you remember which day you may have met the person. So you've got a note about why you were interested, and then you've also filed it by the day. So that really helps capture them while you're on site, and it's also a much more professional way to go. Um, you can keep it in your bag, you're not digging, and you're not dumping out your bag when you go back to your hotel room thinking you're looking for you know, a needle in a haystack. Then once you get home, it's really important to file those cards. And I actually have one big binder. It's PR and bloggers. And I have it set up just exactly that way. There's a tab in here and it's separated by PR in the front, bloggers in the back, bloggers in the front, PR in the back. It doesn't matter. I do it alphabetically and I'll put a note about which conference I met that person at. That will help me. So the third step you might want to take for those of you that are super techie, you may recall that I handed out a business card with a QR code, I actually handed out two. My personal business card has a QR code on it, and my Stowe Company partner business card had a QR code on it. So you may find that you're scanning information through the course of the conference, and you're using that information digitally. So step three might be, after you've captured those cards, you've filed those cards and made notes, and then you've kept a hold of the cards at home in some sort of organization system, create a Google document that might help you better categorize and file that information in a way that you would think to go seek it. For me, I just want to point out to you that having that QR code was a really great way to get people where they needed to go, either for the contest that still had or from, for my personal information, and I found it to work out really great. And about that contest, you can check out the information below this video to let you know how you can still enter. Stowe would love to give somebody a $5,000 garage makeover with their org line, and I only wish I could enter, but I already have an organized garage. Bummer. So that's my tip for you about how to better organize your business cards. I hope it helps you the next time you're at a conference or really anywhere where you might be collecting information about interesting people. We'll see you next time.